And I, Justin, replied, I do not say so, but those who have persecuted and do persecute Christ, if they do not repent, shall not inherit anything on the holy mountain. But the Gentiles, who have believed on him and have repented of the sins which they have committed, they shall receive the inheritance along with the patriarchs and the prophets, and the just men who are descended from Jacob, even although they neither keep the Sabbath, nor are circumcised, nor observe the feasts. Assuredly, they shall receive the holy inheritance of God. For God speaks by Isaiah thus, I, the Lord God, have called you in righteousness, and will hold your hand, and will strengthen you. And I have given you for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out them that are bound from the chains, and those who sit in darkness from the prison house. And again, lift up a standard for the people. For lo, the Lord has made it heard unto the end of the earth. Say to the daughters of Zion, Behold, your Savior has come having his reward and his work before his face, and he shall call it a holy nation, redeemed by the Lord, and you shall be called a city sought out and not forsaken. Who is this that comes from Edom, in red garments from Bosor, this that is beautiful in apparel, going up with great strength? I speak righteousness and the judgment of salvation. Why are your garments red, and your apparel as from the trodden winepress? You are full of the trodden grape. I have trodden the winepress all alone, and of the people there is no man with me. And I have trampled them in fury and crushed them to the ground and spilled their blood on the earth. For the day of retribution has come upon them, and the year of redemption is present. And I looked, and there was none to help, and I considered, and none assisted, and my arm delivered, and my fury came on them, and I trampled them in my fury and spilled their blood on the earth. <laughs>